Good morning, everybody. I'm Brian Iverson, co-founder of My City Lender Home Loans. Here, as always, with Shane Sauer from Bluing Title Agency, and this is your weekly housing fast break. We'll get to the mortgage rate update and economic news in just a moment. But first, here's Shane with our housing update. Good morning, Shane. Hey, good morning, Brian. A few things for you today, folks. One, the 90-day average list price on single-family residences in Maricopa County actually stayed the same as the week prior. That number stayed at 584900 for the second week in a row. This gives us more power to the thought of our plateauing market. And we have seen some pretty consistent declines in the average list price since about early May. Secondly, we saw inventory numbers grow again this past week as the rush is on to get homes onto the marketplace before the holidays. We are still in an upward trajectory with inventory. As I've mentioned before, this is the most single family homes we've seen in the market here in Maricopa County since January of 2023. Lastly, according to Altos Research, our market action index, which is pretty much taking the temperature of the market, shows us at a 38. This is down from a 39 at this point last month. Altos Research uses 30 as their balance, as showing a balanced market. Anything over 30 is a seller's market. Anything under 30 is a buyer's market. While a 38 is still considered a slight seller's market, I would argue that it's a pretty balanced market out there. A great time for buyers to jump into the market and grab the home they've been dreaming of. Ryan, rates have traveled up just a little bit. How is that affecting the market? Yeah, thank you, Shane. Appreciate the update. There was a lot riding on Friday's big jobs report with a weak result likely to reinvigorate a move to long-term lows and a strong result likely to push rates higher. It ended up being very strong, thus pushing rates higher very quickly. The average 30-year conventional rate is jumped up to 6.62%. That represents about a half a percent increase since the Fed cut their rates in September. The average FHA 30-year rate is up over 6% now to 6.12, and the average VA rate is now at 6.15%. The most important headline in the jobs report is the non-farm payrolls, which is a count of new jobs created in the most recent month, September in this case. Not only did September's 254,000 payrolls crush forecasts calling for 140,000, but the past two months were revised higher as well. If the Fed had seen that higher low in the NFP and if they'd known about today's 254,000 payroll count two weeks ago, would they have been as willing to cut rates by half a point? The market doesn't think so and it quickly moved to adjust its expectations for where the Fed funds rate will end up this year, which brings it into question whether the Fed will cut rates again in November or possibly hold steady. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, comment below. We'll see you right back here next Tuesday for your weekly housing fast break.